Welcome to my tutorial on Go Animate. For the free version of Go Animate, if you go up to your address bar and type in goanimate.com, just like I did up here, I'll highlight it so you can see goanimate.com and press enter. It will take you to this page and let me log out so you will see exactly what you're going to need to do. When the first time you log in, you're going to need to click on the Google and Facebook login because we're going to be using our Google login. And when you're here, you're going to want to make sure that you click on the bottom here where I'm circling around where it says Google login. Now for you, your box is going to show over here on the left and you're going to have to either enter in your Fairview Park School email address. It might automatically come up for you and then you're going to have to type in your Google Apps password. When this little pop-up shows up, just click the X in the upper right-hand corner. And you can either click Make a Video Here or Make a Video Right Here. On the left-hand side is a quick video maker. All of the actions are done for you and you have very few um, characters and backgrounds that you can choose. So for example, if I were going to do the wildlife version, I would click Make a Short Video. Click Next. Choose a scene. So I can choose one of these two. If you see the three and four and five, these are Go Plus and we don't have those versions. So you can either choose the first version or the second version. So I'll select this one in the Savannah. You can select your characters. So you can see that I can either choose the giraffe or I can choose the zebra, elephant, and so on and so forth. So I'll go back to zebra and hippo. I'll just use these. And this, you can type in words and the computer will read it back to you. So I could say, hello, how are you today? If I want to choose a different style of voice, I, I could choose any of these that will speak in English. These will speak in Spanish. I think this is um, Brazil. And these won't be languages that will speak in English for us. We want to either stick to the English version um, or we can go in the United States or in Britain. So I will pick Catherine for this one. And then if you want to add dialogue, you can click here. So you can see that I'm not just using this to type in um, any type of content, but I'm actually going to be speaking about the order of operations. I'm going to try and teach a concept that we are learning about in school. So rather than having the uh, zebra um, be Simon, I could switch this one over to Eric and make it an American voice. So for time's sake, you can see that I can go ahead and add as much dialogue uh, up to 10 boxes. I only can do so many of myself typing and having the computer speak. I could also voice record my own voice, and I have an unlimited amount of that. And then I can click Preview, and it is going to then generate the preview of my video. Hello, how are you today? I'm well. Do you know what the order of operations are? Yes, I do. It is the order in which we do a math problem. So you can see that we have the characters. They're already animated for us. We are just adding in the voice. If I click Save Now, I can title it. Click Publish. And then we would click this embed. Grab the embed code, and this is where we could post it to our blogs if we wanted to post it. Now, the downfall with that version where the template's already done for you, you can't save it halfway through. You would have to finish it in one sitting. Now, the other version, if you click make a video, make a video from scratch, this you would be able to save halfway through. So any of the Go Plus we don't have access to, um, so let's say I wanted to do the little peeps, make a video.
Thanks for being patient while it's initializing. You can see that I can choose um, scenes that I would like to be in. Um, I could even choose different characters that I want by clicking on them. And there he is. I can click on that character and I could choose actions and I can make that character dance. Okay, I can make the character um, run. So right now he's going from there. And by the end of the slide, that character will run over there. I could add voice, but I only have, once again, so many credits that I can do this with. I could change and add a different scene. So the next scene, this character will then be maybe in a different background. Um, I can click preview just to kind of see what it will be. But you get the idea of what Go Animate is all about. Again, I'll log back out just to show you. You have two choices. One is from a video template and the other one is making a video from scratch.